Hello everyone, today we're going to add a Python perspective in Eclipse. So right now I have my basic Eclipse set up and then we're running Java. So after today we'll be able to add our Python perspective and you will easily be able to click between Python and Java and switch languages nice and easy. First thing we need to do is go to python.org, just www.python.org, then go to downloads, download the interpreter. The installation for that is nice and easy. After you've done that, go back to Eclipse, and go to help, install new software. Then up here, we're going to click add. We're just adding pydev. In here it'll be www.pydev.org slash updates forward slash updates. Click OK. And I'm just going to click the top one, the bottom one's optional. Go ahead and click next. Click next, accept the license agreement, click finish. Go ahead and trust the certificates. Eclipse will need to restart, go ahead and restart. Okay, we can almost create our Python perspective now, but first we need to tell Eclipse where that interpreter is. So after you downloaded that from python.org, you should now have the interpreter on your C drive. We just need to tell Eclipse specifically where that exe file is. So go to Window, go to Preferences. Now you should have the PyDev option. We're going to expand that. Go down to Interpreters. Expand Interpreters, and now we're going to go to Python Interpreter. Over here, we're going to click on New. You can just go ahead and browse. And now mine is on my C drive, and I'm using Python 34. And inside of there, there's a Python exe file. Just go ahead and double click that. And click OK. Click OK. Click OK. All right, and now we should be good to go. So now we can actually add the perspective over here. I'm going to go over and click Open Perspective. You should have the PyDev option. Click OK. And now you can easily click between Java and Python. So Java, Python. Now we can go ahead and create a Python project. So I'll say File, New, PyDev Project. Just call it Test. Hit Finish. Inside of tests, let's just create a module. Call it hello world. And this will be the name of the file, not the package. Hit finish. I'm just going to click empty. Click OK. Now just to make sure everything's working, I'll print hello world. We can save and run. Just click Python run, click OK, and there we have it. Hello world. If you wanted to, you could go back to Java, make sure everything's working in Java. I have a hello world in here as well. We can run that. Hello world, we're back in Java. Everything's working nice. But all right, I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. Go have some fun programming.